Yo, what is up guys? So welcome back to another video. My name is Smiggy and today we're gonna talk about transitions, specifically the pullback and reveal transition. Let's go. What is up guys so welcome back to another tutorial today we are talking about the pullback and reveal effect it's basically a transition that uses masking and key points so yeah let's go first things first is you must have shots that are going in the same direction just as the name says it's pulling back the first shot should be pulling back and and the second shot will also be pulling back so it will look like one continuous fluid motion so this is our first clip and let's look for like an entry point on the second one so here I'm just gonna cut the clip just right before we pull back. Just right there before it reveals the poles. So let's cut right here. Right there. Right there. We're just gonna cut right there. So after you find where you want to transition in, the next thing you want to do is put a draw mask on the next shot. So basically it's the second clip where you want to transition in. Next is we're going to draw a mask in the image. So we were, we're going to add control points to it. So the more control points, the finer you can do keyframing the better it will look the finer it will look so we'll just click control points transform fall off feather and opacity so we can control it frame by frame so this is nice word so we're just gonna move it first is we're gonna set the opacity to zero and invert the mask so we can see where we're going and we can keyframe correctly. So I'm just gonna speed it up, but actually what I'm doing is I'm keyframing per frame. So I'm just clicking one click at a time. So my keyframing would match the camera movement. So once you're done with keyframing, you're, you have another problem. There's the other side that doesn't have a mask. So what we're gonna do is add another mask to it and just repeat the whole thing. So here I just found where I should start keyframing. Uh, it's just right before it reveals the background. And basically we're gonna do the same thing again frame by frame keyframe by keyframe adjusting the control points with the camera movement so now that we're done masking both sides let's see how it looks 
here we go so it, it looks a bit rough it looks too obvious so what we're gonna do is we're gonna feather it out so we're just gonna increase the feather a bit so it will look softer and let's see how it looks like again let's see so it's a bit rough it's still wiggling you can see there's like wiggling there's space that shouldn't be there so we're just gonna adjust the feather again we're just gonna make it sharper because it I think it looks better when it's sharp and let's see okay it does look sharper it looks better it looks better now and the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the opacity so basically this is where the first clip will transition to the second clip so it depends on what look you want to achieve on this one or how long you want it to fade but I like but I prefer like fading it like three quarters before it ends like a few frames before it ends so let's see let's try this one I'm happy with the results of this one so I'm gonna stick with this one right now so next step is we're gonna do a compound clip so basically we're gonna make all of this clips all of the edits that we did into a single clip so after making a compound clip I'm gonna add the speed ramp effect to it so basically I'm just gonna speed it up from this point right here up to there I think here yeah up to here because I think it would look better and let's see let's check let's just uh, speed it up like eight times and let's see looks better so now let's check the final results and see how it looks like Okay, let's add music to it and sound design and this is it. So that's it guys. So that's how you do the pullback and reveal transition. And I hope you like this video. If you want to know more, just comment down below and don't forget to hit like, subscribe, share, show some love. Thanks for watching guys. Once again, this is Miggy. See you in the next video. Let's go.